welcome to One Creative Twin Mom. Today I am doing a, another onesie. <laughs> this onesie is going to be a 12 to 18 month onesie, but what I wanted to do was add some letters and just put some words together with a little graffiti look to it. So what I did was uploaded all of the letters that I would need. So that's what you're seeing right now. So I don't have to re-upload it. I just wanted to show you. I didn't want to go through the process because it actually took a while to upload each and every one. So I'm just going to go here, um, cancel that so I can get back in here. But here's my design space layout. This is what I did. I just put in the one, I'm sorry, the I. And what I did was um, you basically just size each letter to what you want. Size each letter using the size in the upper, um, right in the middle at the top. So just change the size to what you want. And a lot of times I like to do like the two by twos. And then, let's see, lock that back. And right here, these were two separate letters, but what you do is group them together, of course. So once I put them, like I can ungroup, I just hit the upper right hand. I can ungroup it and move it so that it's wider and then just hit my shift key and click both of them and then do uh, in the upper right hand corner, just hit group. So now it's back together. So it's one. All right. So I did that with all of the letters, group them together. Once you have them grouped together, you'll need to select all of them. All right. So now it's selected everything that I have there and you're just going to go to the bottom right hand corner and hit attach. Once you hit attach, it puts all of them together for you. And in the upper right hand corner, you're going to hit make it. All right. So now it's working on my project. And I like to just kind of go through it this way because there is not a lot that need to be said about a lot of things that we're doing here in design space. So this is not one of those complicated designs. This is something that should be quick, easy, and you got your shirt. So don't forget before you print to go ahead and do mirror. So I just clicked my mirror. It's going to flip it. Boom. Okay. And we're going to hit continue. And then we just send it to printer guys. So I'm going to go ahead and send it to printer and I'm going to get my image and cut it out. I have my sublimation printer. My sublimation ink is loaded and I have my sublimation paper and onesie is sublimation. So once I print it out, I'm going to cut it so that I can trim it all up just the way I want to lay it on the shirt. And you guys will see. Okay, everyone. So we're now ready to press our t-shirt. So what I did was put a piece of parchment paper under here between the onesie. And I'm just straightening it out. Pull it up a little bit. And we're doing this again using the sublimation method. And I just want you to keep in mind that um, you have to use a sublimation t-shirt for this process. And you also, you also have to use sublimation paper and sublimation ink. So with that being said, I've already cut my image out. I've printed my image, I've cut it out. Of course, you always mirror, like I said earlier. And I'm just gonna place it on my shirt where I want it. Let's see. Oh, look at that tail laying out. Let's see what we can do about that. So I cut my parchment paper a little too short perfectly fine so this little piece right here is actually hanging off and I'm just gonna add this so that it doesn't transfer I'm not cutting another piece of parchment you don't have to I'm adding that so it'll catch the bottom and you know with the sublimation once the heat actually hits this it turns into a gas so that's why we add the paper in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right there. Let me see. Actually, let's do this, y'all. Let me pull it down some, cause I don't want it that far up. I wanna actually start it lower. Yep, like right there. To give that room there. 
And then I'm going to add the parchment paper right under it. All right, get in there. Okay. So it's in there. All right. And we got everything on the paper. Straighten my image out. All right, cool. I'm leaving well enough alone. I'm leaving it right there. And I'm going to add my parchment paper on top. All right. So I already have my heat press warmed. It's at a temperature of 400 and it's for 60 seconds. So let's see what happens. Start our timer. All right, everyone. So the 60 seconds is up. I'm gonna go ahead and lift my press here. And let's take a look. Take off my parchment paper. And then I wanna take off the actual image. And there's my shirt right there. I think the colors look extremely vibrant. I have no issues with the way this turned out. So if you're looking to do the sublimation method on a t-shirt, it is, in my opinion, one of the best methods to use. It's extremely quick. This shirt looks extremely good. And from what I've heard and all the reviews, the actual print on here will last, last the life of this actual onesie. So to me, I'm 100% happy. So if you found any value in this uh, video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.